So here we go. I uh, calculate the energy from a wave if it has that wavelength. All right, so first off, because it has, it is sitting there and saying it has a wavelength right here. Uh, this means we are going to use the wave equation. All right. Now, if we are using the wave equation, we know we need that. We are going to get frequency. So when we're talking about energy, this could either be Planck or it could be Einstein. It could be either of those. But because it is telling me that I'm going to be using my wavelength, which was right there, so it's either going to be Planck or Einstein. But wavelength, wavelength is going to give me frequency, which means that's going to be Planck, not Einstein. So there is no mass, no mole, because remember we can go mass to mole very easily. So we're definitely not going to use Einstein here. We're going to use Planck, especially because we want V, we want our uh, frequency. So here we go. Uh, as such, I check my unit. My unit is in meters, which is good. That's one of my ones I can use, so I don't need to track units anymore. I start with my wave equation, C equals wavelength times frequency, except what I want is frequency. So this is going to become, I'm going to alter it. I'm going to divide both sides by wavelength so that frequency is by itself. And this is going to give me the equation I'm really going to use, which is frequency is equal to C over wavelength like so. So what does this mean? Well, C is always the same thing. C is 3 times 10 to the 8th power, and my wavelength I can get from the problem that's up there. OK, so wavelength is listed right here. That was very sloppy, but whatever. 9.53 times 10 to the negative 8. I don't need to track units anymore because I know if I start with meters, I'm going to wind up with joules because of what I said earlier. Now, when we're doing math under the line, we need parentheses around that, so there we go. I take my calculator, I do 3 times 10 to the 8th power. I divide it by parentheses 9.53 times 10 to the negative 8th power, and parentheses equals. This gives me, you know, my frequency, uh, and my frequency in this case is 3.14795 um, and there's more dot 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 it doesn't matter because we uh, are not going to use that much times 10 to the 15th you need to be careful about that now since this is frequency it's going to be in hertz which is just per second so that doesn't matter because we really don't care about units that then brings us to Planck Planck is e equals hv uh, we can use this exactly as it is because we have H and we have V, so I continue. H is Planck's uh, constant, which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th power. Uh, and that is going to be times the frequency that we calculated earlier, 3.14795 times 10 to the 15th power. So I take the number that's still in my calculator, hopefully. I times it by 6.626 times 10 caret negative 34 equals. And I get my answer. Okay. My answer in this case is I set it to three sig digs based on the fact that I've got three sig digs here. So I am going to be at 2.09 with rounding times 10 to the negative 18th power, and this will be in joules because it told me that I would, because I had meters, then that means I will wind up with joules because if we use the right units, we will always get units we can predict. If I start with meter, second, and kilogram, I will get joules. So I'm good. And there you go. That is a crash course in how to do a multi-part light conversion. I actually thought that went pretty darn well. 